Hi, Mount Airy. Hi, kids. Is everybody jumping online? I'll check with my videographer, Sierra. We have three, two minutes to go. One minute to go. Are we almost ready? All right, we got some people jumping on. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us today of children's books. Uh, we hope everybody's doing okay out there. We know it's a little tough and uh, as uh, you would like to, uh, of course, your family members you live with, you may be seeing them more than you want to, but it's an uh, interesting uh, experience for everybody. We hope you're doing well. Uh, we want to thank you for your comments last week. Uh, you selected the Rainbow Fish, so that's the book that me and me bought and we'll read it to you today. And with that, remember, comment as we go through the book, and make sure you let us know what books you want to hear, okay? And stay tuned, because after the book, I have some exciting announcements for you. So here we go. The Rainbow Fish. A long, way, a long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. See the little fish, the rainbow fish? You want me to give you one of my special scales? What do you think they are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset he told all of his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. Turned away. Some gale winds here on the ocean. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales when no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But you, but if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then, suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus in a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering, glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say. But the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shiny scales. Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small shimmering scale, he thought. Hmm, well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. 
carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbly, playfully, he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched a little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shiny scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. And that's the end of the story. He is now swimming in the ocean. Let's pretend he's below this boat with all the other fish, and he's now happy. So there's a great moral to this story, and I will ask your parents to explain that to you, okay? So ask your parents about the rainbow fish book and what it meant to give something away and to gain some friendships uh, in between. So, as promised, one, I wanna thank you for joining us today. Next week, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Council President Larry Hushauer will be reading a book about trains. He'll be doing it at the train station, and it's called The Bansy Book. I hope I got that right, but we'll be advertising, and you'll know about it, and you can get a good shot at Mackenzie the Caboose, and uh, join in for a short story, 15 minutes. And also, be on the lookout on the town Facebook page. We're gonna have a sidewalk chalk uh, project. It's gonna be a competition where you can win gift certificates to local restaurants. Our good friend, Betsy Rook, that went to the same schools you went to here in Mount Airy, is gonna be overlooking this program. So get ready to get your chalk out and paint up the sidewalks and submit. You'll hear more about that later. Thank you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Meatball, you wanna say goodbye? That's Meatball's way of saying goodbye. Thank you, Sierra, for filming. Bye-bye.